Wood has been one of the most important materials in human history. In today's age, we use wood as fuel. We use it to create art and structures, including our homes. It's even linked to some physiological effects. The cracking sound of wood in the fire is soothing. Even just the smell of wood is reassuring to some. Up until recently, evidence of woodwork in the archaeological record has been pretty poor. The oldest evidence of woodwork is this polished wooden plank found in Israel, dating to between 240 and 750,000 years ago. The Shuningan spears also appear as one of the oldest wooden artefacts, dating to roughly 400,000 years old. But it was in Kalambo Falls in Zambia that the most amazing pieces of evidence of woodworking was discovered. Two logs dating to roughly 476,000 years ago. These aren't just any old logs. These are evidence of potentially the world's oldest known wooden structure. One log can be seen lying flat with the top part running under the second log. The second log seems to have a notch carved into its underside to allow it to nestle comfortably on the top of the bottom log. Various scrape marks and signs of adzing, which is a tool used to shape wood, can be seen on the top and bottom sides of the notch, suggesting that it was created intentionally to connect the two parts. Another wooden log showing tapered ends and a similar notch had previously been described in Site B. Although it's not conclusively identified as part of the hominid-made structure and has proven difficult to accurately date. Around the time the hominids inhabited Calambo Falls, the area was covered by forest. This created an environment that was sustainable for hominids to live in. Due to the high water levels, the area would sometimes flood, which would encourage the construction of a raised platform, walkway, or foundation for a home. And this is exactly what scientists think the logs may have belonged to. Calambo Falls is an amazing site. Wood preserves so well here because water levels remain high, fully submerging the logs and preventing potential decay. The remarkable preservability of wood at this site has allowed archaeologists to also uncover four further wooden tools. A wedge, a digging stick, a cut log, and a notched branch dating from 390 to 324,000 years ago. The most interesting of these being Object 660. Research on the object suggests that it was intentionally shaped altered by high-impact compression. Researchers speculate that 660 was either used as a wedge, incompleted processed firewood, or a portable work base. Anyone who has a basic understanding of woodwork will know that wedges can be used in a variety of ways. From being used to split logs to clamping panels, wedges are simple but an important piece of woodworking technology. If Object 660 was in fact a wedge, then this would further confirm that hominins at this site were capable of higher feats of woodworking and unlocks the potential for even more advanced structures. Everything related to this discovery suggests a high level of cognitive development, giving completing such a structure likely required following out some sort of plan and potentially even using language to communicate ideas and delegate tasks. It also challenges the view that early Stone Age humans were primarily nomadic, with the water and food of the surrounding environment proving sufficient to support a sedentary community. So who were these master carpenters? Well. We don't know. As of yet, no hominin remains have been found at Calambo Falls. 
one potential hominin that may have lived here was Homo heidelbergensis. A heidelbergensis skull was found at Kabwe in Zambia and dates to roughly 300,000 years old. This confirms that Heidelbergensis lived in Zambia, albeit 150,000 years after the wooden structure at Kalambo Falls. This obviously isn't enough evidence to confirm that Heidelbergensis made the wooden structure. But we do know that Heidelbergensis was capable of other advanced technology, such as the Schoeningen spears, as well as various bifacial stone hand axes, cleavers and carvers. With this in mind, Heidelbergensis was more than capable of carving and manipulating wood, and they may have just been the ancient builders living at Kalambo Falls. The recovery of these artefacts that hold such an exceptional level of preservation at Kalambo Falls places woodworking firmly in the mid Pleistocene of Africa. Our understanding of innovation among early hominins has been largely based on stone artefacts, but these finds show us that our ancestors could manipulate other materials to an advanced level. It's truly a shame that these materials hardly preserve, otherwise I'm sure that we would have a wide range of tools and early structures that would help us understand our ancestors and their communities even more.